Hey everyone, welcome back to the InfoStreet channel. In today's video, I am going to walk you through the process of creating the content modifier with the sample data as a payload in SAP Cloud Integration Suite. So this is a powerful feature in SAP Cloud Integration and we will explore its role in transforming and enriching messages during integration. Okay, before we dive into the technical steps, let me first give you a quick introduction to what a content modifier is and why it is essential in integration process. So the content modifier is a transformation function available in SAP Cloud Integration Suite. It is designed to modify the content of the message as it flows through the integration process. Essentially, it allows you to set headers, properties and modify the payload. In the integration scenarios, we often need to enrich the data being transferred, for example, adding additional information, modifying the structure or setting the dynamic values. This is where the content modifier plays a crucial role. So now let's get started with creating a content modifier. Now here, click on add button and add the iFlow. Let's give it a name as demo iFlow. Okay. So click on edit. Okay, let me just remove this start event and in place of this, I will use the timer event. Now you can click on this uh, plus icon and we will select content modifier. Now let's just change the name to uh, modify. So here is the message header where you can add the new headers if you want, modify the existing headers as well. So now let me just uh, create one header. Let me give a name as name and enter a source value. Similarly, you can also add the exchange property in the exchange property section. Here you can define properties that can be used in subsequent steps of the flow. For example, you might want to set a timestamp or a unique identifier for tracking purposes. So in this message body, we will add a sample XML data as a payload. Okay, let me just use this one. We will choose the type as expression. Now in place of the customer name, we will use the header that we have created. For this, uh, you need to use the dollar. Now we will save this iFlow as a version. Now the next step would be to deploy this iFlow. So the iFlow is deployed. Let me just navigate to the manage integration content. Okay. Let me change the log level to trace. And after changing the log level, we again need to redeploy our iFlow. So we will redeploy it. Okay, now we will go to monitor message processing. Click on trace. So 
So as you can see here, we have got our header. So here you are able to see the modified payload. That's it for today's tutorial on how to create content modifier with sample data as a payload in SAP integration suite. I hope this video helps you better understand how to use the content modifier to enrich messages during integration. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. Drop your questions or comments below if you need further clarifications. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.